All right, we've got Ghost X Jones. Oh, that's real funny. Yeah, Ghost X Jones. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Who else? We got Commander Biff in the house. We've got Australia for Ghost in the house. Uh, we've got uh, CT Hula Kiwi. What's going on? We got a lot of Kiwis in the place, man. What's going on in New Zealand? I got. I got to go. I got to go visit New Zealand, man. There's a lot of people in New Zealand that are listening in, and I know it's a very small country. And that makes it even that much more uh, flattering, if you want my personal opinion, because, I mean, that's, I mean, that's just great. Anyway, uh, Asho in the house. Uh, we've got Rainbow Flank in the place. What's going on? Uh, we've got Hindus for Dindus. Or, okay, I guess. Um, we've got uh, Templeton Bin Laden. Oh, you piece of crap. Stop talking about my dog already, God damn it! you stupid, milky-looking pieces of nipple clamp, loving butt plug up the ass, looking can't stop talking about my dog, obsessed freaks. Anyway, we've got uh, uh, Dub Ranster. What's going on? Uh, we've got well, who else? We got Capitalist Team in the house. Uh, we've got uh, Texas En Fuego in the place. Uh, we've got Tankies for Ghost in the house. Uh, we've got V Do One Two Three Four in the place. Uh, we've got Call Ron. Okay, that's great. Uh, who else do we got going on over here? We got uh, oh, that's real funny Adolf Trumpler. Yeah, real freaking funny, you jerk dick. Real funny. <laughs> Stupid idiots, for Christ's sake. Who else do we got? Like I said, tweet the hashtag Baller Friday, baby. That's what it is, Baller Friday. <laughs> Woo! I love Baller Fridays, baby. Here, let me take a sip of this, for Christ's sake, before I do any more. Twitter shout outs here. Ah. Already cracked open a beer, folks. I already cracked open a beer. And, you know, I know people uh, criticize me a little bit about my uh, about my consumption of alcohol. But, uh, hey, look, when you're a capitalist and you make your own money, you can have any vice you want. You understand that? You can have any vice you want. I mean, there's no reason to, you know, answer to anybody. That's the whole beautiful part about being a capitalist. If you can partake in uh, conducting yourself as a capitalist, if you can create making capital, making money, then what the hell is it to anybody else what the hell you do? You understand? What the hell is it to anybody else? I mean, well, what is it to anybody else if, uh, you know, you want to go out and have some, some drinks from time to time? What what's what is it to anybody if you want to go have some nice uh, you know juicy steaks? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm tired of people trying to judge me here because I like to partake in some uh, alcoholic beverages. All right, now look, I used to be a conservative, okay? Meaning, I I lived the damn conservative lifestyle all my life. All right, all my life, and unfortunately. I got betrayed by the conservative movement. I got betrayed by the uh, ideas that I actually thought was, were legitimate. I actually thought they were legitimate ideas. And I was hoodwinked, you know? So I, I like to consider the fact that i basically making up for lost time. You know what I'm saying? I'm making up for lost time out here as it relates to my consumption of alcohol, all right? So... Come on, man. Don't stop hating on me for uh, for the alcohol uh, consumption, man. I really don't appreciate any kind of criticisms or judgments. All right, I'm serious. I've been getting a lot of criticism and a lot of judgments, and I don't appreciate it. All right, I don't appreciate it one bit at, at all, at all. Anyway, who else we got? We got alcoholic in here. We've got uh, happy birthday, Adolf. Oh, that's great. Yeah, you stupid moron. Elliot Roger. Okay, that's funny, you stupid morons. Uh, we got Goomba 12 in the house. We've got uh, Finchy Bird 89 in the house. Uh, Honk Poster. Exara Hawks in the house. Uh, there's Ghost Cheek again, for Christ's sake. Uh, we got Flaming Nipple Chop. Uh, we've got uh, the, the whore master. Oh, yes, oh, I am the whore master. Oh, yes, I am the whore master. All right, folks, we're going to right now start calling a number randomly picked from this list that is the D.C. Madam's List of Johns. This is from the D.C. Madam's List, folks. Hello? Uh, hello? Uh, I got this number off of a list, ma'am. 
Yeah. Uh, we we just want to know, uh, what, what, is this a place of business? No, it's a private home. Oh, it's a private home, ma'am? I'm sorry. Uh, well, we got this off of a list that was just recently released by Lulzington News. And the list is supposedly, uh, allegedly uh, involved with the D.C. Madam. Are you familiar with that, ma'am? No, I have no idea what that is. Re- really? Uh, it, it, are you the only one in the home, ma'am? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I mean, I'm just, we're from Lulzington News. And uh, hello? Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, Christ. I, I mean, that sounded like uh, the, the, some man's wife there. And uh, <laughs> I want. <laughs> oh, my God. Good Lord. Oh, my God. I hope I didn't get somebody into trouble. I'm just asking questions, all right? I'm just asking questions. I'm not kidding around. This isn't no April Fool's joke. I, I got it, all right? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, my God. Let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, see what we got here. That's a weird ring. Sounds official. Hello, this is Paul Corp with Purchasing Manager at the Westin Peachtree Plaza Hotel, downtown Atlanta. Um, I am unavailable to take your call right now, but if you leave a message, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. I'll record your message at the tone when you're yeah, finished. I'm going to leave them a message. Or stay on the line for further options. Uh, how are you doing, sir? My name is Buzz Killington from Lulzington News. And uh, unfortunately, this particular number is on a list that has been released on the Internet relating to the D.C. Madam. And we were hoping to call you and have uh, some kind of a statement on why you, your number is part of this list. Uh, once again, Buzz Killington, Lulzington News, uh, you know, spread it around. All right. Hello? Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, uh, yes, uh, I'm, I'm uh, Buzz Killington with Lulzington News, ma'am. Uh, this number was brought on a list that has been released on the Internet uh, relating to the D.C. madam. Uh, we're just calling people to see uh, if you have any statement about that. Oh, no, I don't even know what that is. You don't know what the, the D.C. madam? No. Uh, well, she was, uh, you know, the, the the head of a prostitution ring, ma'am, and, and this number was one of the numbers that has been released who called that number. Hello? Hello? Oh, what? Oh, come on. Oh. Oh, come on. You see, these wives, man, they're, they're, they, you know what I'm saying? I mean, come on, baby. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, my God. Come on, dial any, any minute now. You need... Hello? Uh, hello? Yes? Is, uh, is, is Ted there? Uh, no, you have the wrong number. Oh, I have the wrong number? Okay, sorry about that. Damn it. Hold on, maybe it's this one. Hold on. Pick up the damn phone. It's your daddy. Hey, how you doing? Uh, Good. I, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, this is Buzz with Lulzington News. Uh, this number was actually on a list that's been released on the Internet relating to the D.C. madam. Uh, do, do you have any statement about that? Oh, um, no. This. What was the subject again? Yeah, uh, th- this number was listed on a list that called the D.C. Madam. Uh, are you familiar with this case? No, not at all. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, so this, this yeah. is a... I'm sorry, sir? No, I'm just going to say I think it's a mistake. Uh, I, I've never heard of this. Uh, did you, uh, have you had this number for a while, or did you just get the number? I've had, I've had this number for a long time. Really? Uh, are you related to any kind of uh, are, you, are you related to any kind of government institution or, or anything of that sort, sir? No, 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 not no? at all. Okay. No. Uh, so what? What I'm, what I'm well, hearing the from you is, is so it's called DC Madam. So is it? Yeah, the DC is, Madam. Yes, uh, she was a yeah. She uh, ran a prostitution ring in Washington D.C. or out of Washington D.C. Interesting. 
So this is a California number. So what that was on there? Was she was running? Yes, yeah, so as a matter of fact, yeah. Or yeah, yeah. She uh, she would actually bring in, you know, that she was the DC madam. Uh, unfortunately, supposedly killed herself uh, right before she was going to release oh. this list, and this list was uh, put on gag order uh, by a court of law, wow. and the attorney. The attorney is afraid for his life, so he released it on the Internet. Now, he didn't particularly release it. Uh, there was a uh, group called the Capitalist Army that actually got access to this whole list and, and called and, 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 and basically released it. And, you know, we here at Lulzington News are just trying to get a statement from random people that we're calling. And, you know, I mean, you know, okay. do you ever remember calling the D.C. madam or? Oh, God, no. No, no, sir. It's that's what I'm saying. I mean, this is just. It's did did anybody ever use your phone? Just, were, were you like, were you a, were you a person that like maybe lent lent somebody your phone or? Well, no, I, I have not. And and what's interesting about it is, is that well, I am, a, you know, I am in real estate, so my number is published out there. So I don't know. Somebody may have decided to put the number or some, you know, I don't know. I, that's well, uh, to be strange. honest, to be honest with you, yeah, you know, we've, uh, we've looked into that, sir, but the, the, the list mm-hmm. that the capitalist army released over the internet, which is a, you know, a political action group, uh, they huh? basically got this from documents that relating to a court document. Okay. So this was not, wow. this is, this has, wow. not, yeah, this is, yeah, that's why I'm at, we just, why we're just, we're calling random numbers right now, asking people, Unfortunately, we've had a lot of angry wives, and, uh, I mean, that's not really why we wanted to call. We just want to know because uh, this is yeah. a serious list. I mean, this woman that was the D.C. madam, uh, it was alleged that she may have been killed for this. So that's why we're wow. just calling and asking wow. who are these people. Yeah, you, yes, yes, sir. I mean, this is not yeah. a joke. Uh, she was interviewed by uh, the media several days prior to her suicide, and she was asked, was she going to commit suicide? And she said, absolutely not. I have no I have no suicidal thoughts. And then three days later, she was found dead uh, with an apparent suicide. Holy moly. Well, the, what, what worries me is that, you know, I don't want to be associated with any of that. So I don't know. That's just very surprising that my number is is associated with this. I, I, you know, like I said, well, I'm this, this, uh, this list This list is actually it goes back to the early 2000s. So did you have this number in the early 2000s? No, no, no. So oh, that, okay, that, well, that, if that's the case, then maybe it was way before me because I asked, um, I got this number probably around the 2010 uh, year, probably around there is when I picked that number up. So oh, I see. This area. And I've been, yeah, and I'm, I'm new to Northern California pretty much. Yeah, uh, yeah, whatever. Shut up, you scumbag. Get out of here. You sound more guilty than a goddamn idiot under under uh, cross-examination. Do you hear this guy? Jesus Christ, he's trying to freaking get his story straight right in front of our very eyes, for Christ's sake. Good God. Jesus Christ. Anyway, folks, uh, I'm, I'm going to call one more number, and then we're getting on to Radio Graffiti. I mean, uh, uh, just come clean, all right? The guy starts saying, oh, I've had this number for a very long time. Oh, man. I mean, this guy, he's shitting bricks, all right? He's shitting bricks. That's what somebody says when they're trying to, you know, revolve their thoughts around an ever-evolving story right there. You know what I'm saying? Give me a goddamn break. Thank you for calling the Shelter Area High School. If you know your party's extension, press 8 and dial it. For a district directory, press 9. For That's the high school high office, school. press 1. For the high school guidance office, press 2. Oh, Jesus, I don't attendance. know. Stop. No, I don't even want to know. You see this, folks? You see what I just did? I, I, I call a number. It's a freaking high school. I wonder what bureaucrat used this, sir. I mean, just good God, man. Oh, my God. Some high school, for Christ's sake. Good Lord. Oh, my God. God. Anyway, let me let me try one more for Christ. This is it's just getting sicker and sicker every time I I unearth a call here. I mean, a freaking high school. I mean, this these that's what these bureaucrats are doing. You know, they they're, they're calling from their goddamn uh, bureaucratic job, hooking up a goddamn uh, prostitute for themselves. For Christ's sake. 
You have reached a number that has been disconnected. Shut up, cunt. Jesus. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, did I just say that? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I did not mean to say that. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I didn't mean to divergenize people's ears. I'm sorry. I'm just a little upset. I'm a little angry here. All right? I'm trying to call people who called the D.C. madam and get to the bottom of this. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to, you know, say that vulgarity. My apologies, all right? <laughs> this is 815, Eric. Or excuse me, 831, Eric. 831. Hello? Uh, hello. How are you doing, sir? This is Leroy Jenkins with Wolsington News. And uh, this number was actually released uh, here recently as uh, being a part of the list of the D.C. madam. Uh, do you have any comments about that, sir? I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, well, I, you're, 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 on, you're, you're on a list, sir. This number is in a list that was allegedly uh, a number who called the D.C. Matter. And this list has been released by a group called the Capitalist Army. So we just want to get a statement here uh, I'm with Wolsington News if you, know, you ha- if you know anything about this. I have no idea what you're talking about. So I'm you have no with idea? my kids right now, so no idea what you're talking about. Oh, okay. Right. I get it, buddy. Have a good day. I get it. I get it, buddy. Don't worry about it, all right? Are your secrets good with me, all right? <laughs> oh, my God. I, I caught this guy with his cheering. Oh, my God. I got him with his chair everywhere. What's this little comment doing? Oh, my God. God. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. All right. That's about enough. All right. That's about enough. We've got about a little over eight minutes left, and it's about time for everybody's favorite part of the broadcast, and I'm talking about Radio Graffiti! <laughs> right now! 513 Radio Graffiti. I'm going all the time. I'm a Jesus Christ. 614 Radio Graffiti. Ghost, let's have oral compilation in front of the Trump protesters. Oh, my. Oh, God damn it. Freaking Trump guy again, for Christ's sake, man. Jesus Christ, some of the most grotesque things come out of that man's mouth, and he's sitting in a tub. 443, Radio Graffiti. Okay, dude, why are you calling up fucking high schools, you goddamn pedophile? Oh, shut up, you stupid milky liquor. It was on the D.C. Madams list ass clown. All right, it was probably some bureaucrat trying to hook himself up for the weekend, you fruit bro. Jesus Christ. 954 Radio Graffiti. Yeah, yeah EBT. Real funny. Real... <laughs> EBT collecting pieces of trash. Come on, that, that's coming to an end, baby. That's coming to a real dramatic end, baby. You you know it, and I know it. And if you folks think that this freaking uh, you know food car EBT train is going to keep riding, you got another goddamn thing coming, boy. Uh, Five eight zero radio graffiti. Hey, uh, this is Mike with the uh, Austin SPCA, and uh, we just want to let you know that Tickles is fine, and we found a new home. Thank you. I can't even understand you, for Christ's sake. If you're trying to, you know, front like you're some kind of a government agent or something, uh, you're, you're obviously not given a government-issued phone. <laughs> uh, uh, Xara Hawks, Radio Graffiti. Ladies and gentlemen, the next president of the United States, Senator from Illinois, Senator Bernie Sanders. Ladies and gentlemen, what the hell? Hey, hey, calm down, Xara Hawks. What the hell is that about? 786, Radio Graffiti. Oh. Hey, Ghost. Hey, how's it going? Hello? Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, you know, it's a it's an honor to actually speak with you, man. I have been listening to your broadcast ever since I was in middle school. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, as much as I find you interesting, you know, because, you know, I'm, I'm already in 12th grade. I'm just about to graduate high school. And as much as I, you know, I, I mean, listening to your broadcast, I do agree with some of the stuff that you've brought up, you know. I, hey, I appreciate it, man. I'd love to hear you. We only got five minutes left, man, but I do appreciate you listening. I'm glad that you're going to graduate. I'm glad that you're uh, you're finishing school. Uh, you know, keep capitalizing, baby. Five seven five radio graffiti. 
Hey, Ghost, it's Teutonic Plague. Love the show. What was with those low energy callers yesterday? They sounded like Jeff Bush supporters, for God's sake. Happy Baller Friday, Ghost. Hey, thank you very much, Teutonic Plague. Happy Baller Friday, baby. <laughs> Woo! Who else do we got going on? We got uh, 831 Rio Graffiti. Oh, Ghost, I want you and Teddy Cruz to come to Sesame Street and pork my chivo. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is you're just getting sick out here. You're just getting sick and sick. 502, Radio Graffiti. Ghost, my wife's uh, son loves your show. His name's Alberto. Um, I can't get him to stop running around. He keeps saying, we was kings and shit. Okay, that's, uh, I guess. Uh, 646, Radio Graffiti. Ghost, man, you are, like, the best Mortal Kombat character, dude. Like, Reptile Man, Jesus Christ, dude, you rock. Yeah, yeah, real funny, asshole, all right? All right, I'm not some freaking reptilian, shape-shifting lizard. I hate you people that try to allude to that crap. All right, 248, Radio Graffiti. I mean... Yeah, that's you, but unfortunately, uh, you're too late. How about uh, 972, Radio Graffiti? Oh, Jesus Christ, he's Helen Keller deaf mutes, for Christ's sake. Uh, 443, Radio Graffiti. Okay, dude, seriously, why do you keep calling high schools? This is fucking bullshit, dude. So shut up, you stupid fruit ball, all right? Why do you sound like you just your damn freaking balls and your freaking wee-wee in between your legs, and you're looking at yourself, seeing how you'd be as a gender-fluid woman? You fruit ball, shut up! You shut up! You shut your stupid, stinking, smelly salmon hole! Jesus Christ. Tango Whiskey, Radio Graffiti. Let me be very clear. Greed is not good. Yeah! Yeah! Yes! I freaking love it! Shut up! Shut up! That uh, That's a splice. I would never say that about a freaking Bernie's freaking socialist Sanders, all right, boy? Pieces of crap. Jesus. 919, Radio Graffiti. Hey, uh, I was, this is Tyreek Hungwell with the FE Society. I was wondering if uh, this number is associated with the DC Mound list. Shut up, you stupid moron. 818, Radio Graffiti. Hey, Ghost, it's Capital C and your biggest fan. And I just want to tell you really quick uh, I'm going to be gone uh, mid, uh, uh, after mid year. I'm getting accepted to the Navy. I'm, be going, I'm going to be doing trials for the Navy SEALs, man. So it's awesome, me luck. man. It's be one of my Good class. for you, man. Good, good luck, man. Good luck. And uh, kick some ass out there. The, the Navy SEALs are an elite group of people, all right? You know what I mean? Straight up. I mean, all those special operations folks. Uh, 518, Radio Graffiti. Hello? Yeah, goodbye. Uh, 410, Radio Graffiti. Hey, Ghost, I think that, that was, what you did was very funny, and I'm very glad that you're back. Hey, thank you very much. I'm glad to be back, man. Uh, 845, Radio Graffiti. Hey, Ghost, why don't you run for president in 2020? Uh, because, uh, I mean, to be honest with you, I don't want what the, they're doing to Donald Trump. I mean, let me tell you, Donald Trump is taking his life into his own hands. This is very dangerous what Donald Trump is doing, and that's why I'm taking the initiative to do what I'm doing. I mean, this guy is fearless. He has no fear whatsoever. So I, I, I would never run for president, hell no. And let's take one or two more callers, then we're out of here. Uh, 281, Radio Graffiti. Uh, hey, Ghost. Uh, Colin from Houston, Texas here. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering what your opinions are on uh, Texas's cap- capability to secede. Uh, I think that we have more than capability, baby. Are you kidding me? We've got agriculture. We've got fresh water. We've got our own Texas National Guard. I mean, if the freaking federal government is going to get up and eat, we're ready to secede, baby. And let me tell you something. That concludes our Baller Friday edition of the True Capitalist Radio Broadcast. Please follow me on Twitter at politicsghost, all one word, no underscores, politicsghost, and make sure to bookmark blogtalkradio.com slash ghost. That's blogtalkradio.com slash ghost. What a baller Friday, baby. Thank you for listening, and long live the capitalist army. <laughs> Woo!